Hey everybody, it's that time again. It's the end of month once again, and you know what that means. It's time to welcome you to another edition of JSA's Fast Forward. That's right. Thanks for joining us as we broadcast live online via LinkedIn and YouTube and through our very own JSA TV newsroom. I'm Dean Perrine, Executive Vice President at JSA. And I'm Jamie Scott Okataya, founder and CEO of JSA. Today, we're going to bring you all the biggest headlines from the world of tech, telecom, and data centers. That's right. We're going to review a busy month in the industry by recapping the biggest stories from JSA's Telecom News Now blog. Yes. So, uh, Jay, I'm going to kick things off. What was your favorite article of the month? Oh, tough one. A lot of really great articles, I will say. But when I think about my very favorite one, it kind of hits my heart here because it's actually an editorial from JSA's, our, our own media partner, Jao Marquez Lima, who does incredible reporting uh, on European headlines for us. He, um, <clears throat> he did a fascinating piece looking at Italy's data center sector and, mm -hmm. and all of its future growth potential. And of course, you know me, Italy, near and dear to my heart, data centers, love. So I would say, yes, I encourage everyone to go ahead and read that article. Very good. So are you ready to hit the rest of the headlines, Jay? Of course. And this time we are doing it quiz style, just, to, you know, live, what could go wrong, right? <laughs> I hate when the writers do this to us, though. And, uh, you know, it's just like, okay. But anyway, we're going to take turns asking each other trivia questions, some easy, yeah. some uh, not so easy. Uh, the questions and topics will each relate to the headline from the past month. So let's go ahead and kick things off, Jay. All right, Dean, uh, here we go. Here's your first question. What is the capital city of Denmark? Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I do know this one. It's Copenhagen. Oh, well done, well done. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this harkens <laughs> this harkens back to my Shakespearean acting days. Of course, um, it does. Yeah, it does. Something's rotten in the state of Denmark. Ooh, that was right. <laughs> Bravissimo, do you know? Yeah, what? <laughs> well you. done. Maybe, yeah. But okay, the reason, guys, that we're talking about Denmark is that <clears throat> it is the site of a new announcement from Prime Data Centers. They are building a 124 megawatt data center in Denmark that will be powered by 100% renewable energy. Yay! Uh, Great to hear. Yep, yep, yep. Awesome, awesome. Okay, Jay, this is your first question. Uh, Lassi is a popular drink in India, and it's made from which product? Oh, dear. Okay, um, <laughs> I'm not really sure about this one. When you said Lassi, I went to Lassi, and that's a dog, not a drink. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I've definitely never had it before, so I don't know, some type of fruit juice, uh, maybe. Eh, sorry, okay. sorry, I'm sorry. All right. It's, it's actually yogurt, Lassie. Oh, Lassie yeah. fell down the well, or Jimmy fell down the well. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, would, I would have never. Okay, but thank you. I'll have to try that one again next time I'm out for Indian food. Yogurt That's sounds. right. And and yeah. I, I suspect that the reason it's yogurt is because of the spicy dishes, the milk based mm -hmm. and all that stuff. But anyway, we're talking about India because there is big news on the TNN blog this month from Airtel, India's leading communications uh, solutions provider. They announced a partnership with Volter, that's V-U-L-T-R, the world's largest privately held cloud computing company. That's huge news for enterprises in India looking to move workloads to the cloud. The cloud is a big, big topic of discussion still and probably will continue to be through the end of the year and next I, year. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, Dean, you are a music guy, so this right. is a good one for you. In 1951, the Fender Precision was introduced as the name of the first electric version of what instrument? The Fender De Precision. Yeah, the Fender Precision is a bass guitar, otherwise known as the P bass for those in the know. And I even once played it. My dad actually was a bass player in blues bands when I was a little kid. And so that's kind of how I got my uh, my musical uh, taste uh, moistened at the time. Very cool. Very cool. I knew that would be right up your alley. So Precision, by the way, guys, isn't just the name of a bass guitar. It is also the name of a great data center industry vendor, Precision OT, whom we love. Great people, great company. Precision OT made the news big time this month, uh, including new facilities, new demos, lots of industry events. Their EVP Q2 
Keith Haberfield appeared mm-hmm. on our very own JSA TV last month at Metro Connect with, let me guess, who was his host? Oh, yeah, our own Dean Perrine interviewing him at Metro Connect. I got two thumbs, and they both point to this guy right here. Uh, he tra- and it was a great chat. We uh, talked a lot about industry trends and um, lots of uh, current and future things going on with uh, with uh, precision. So it was all good stuff. Jamie, are you ready for your next question? And uh, actually, not sure, but I'll cross my fingers and say yes. So <laughs> yeah, go ahead. You're good. You're, you're gonna love this one. Um, you, you might want to cross your toes too, Jay, because this I is a sports a sports trivia question. What is the name of Tennessee's professional football team? Oh, okay. All my Tennessee friends are. Please don't be mad at me. Uh, Tennessee, Tennessee, Tennessee tacos. <laughs> No, I don't know. Uh, although that would be an amazing team name. It's actually the Titans. It's the oh, Tennessee of Titans. course it is. Yes. So sorry. But, oh, but we're going God. from the Titans to Titanium. That's that is Titanium Platform LLC, who just announced a partnership with Deutsche Telekom, which many of us know for their uh, T-Mobile brand. It's a huge deal for Titanium, who will offer their framework solution to support Deutsche Telekom's 5G roaming environment. So very cool stuff there coming from titanium yes yes love those guys too okay here comes your next trivia question dino what is photophobia Hmm. (laughs) oh my god okay uh fear of getting your picture taken uh you know that's that's a good yeah both great great guess but uh actually a sensitivity to light Oh, interesting. Oh, you know, inter- uh, interesting. So I'm like, you know, when you're on antibiotics, you have four to extra foot. It doesn't really matter. So anyway, um, I'll keep things going here. Uh, so so uh, sorry. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll remember that one. So, so, Dino, we're talking light because our friends at Lightpath just published some popular editorials on the JSA blog that are definitely worth checking out. We're talking uh, the first one all about how to build resiliency of cloud-based connectivity. There's that cloud word again. Mm -hmm. And second, we're talking uh, SD-WAN and its place in our industry. So lots of good thought pieces, again, from Lightpath. Yeah, excellent. And we're going to go ahead and stick to the light theme for another new story for this month. This time it's Light Edge, who announced two big new hires uh, Dale Dawson as VP of Product and Sergio Torres as Director of Managed Services. So, uh, congratulations to Dale and to Sergio. Yeah, Dale and Sergio, congrats. All right, Jay, you are up, and it's a history question for you. Uh, the, yay. Sh- yeah, <laughs> yay, I can you know, the excitement in your voice. Uh, <laughs> the, the shoguns ruled over which country? The shoguns ruled over which country? Okay, not 100% sure here, like ever, in my whole life, never. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to go ahead with uh, Japan. Ah, that is correct. Uh, I, I guess all those kung fu movies from our youth have paid off. It is correct. It is Japan. That's right. Well, actually, it's the only kung fu that I'm watching these days is Kung Fu Panda with my daughter. But yes. Oh, I love that. Ah, skadoosh. That's one of my favorites. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, well, uh, either way, you, you got it. So although the shoguns may be gone, there is some telecom industry news coming from Japan this month. We don't often get the chance to talk about Japan, but today is the day. Princeton Digital Group has appointed... Yoshinaga Takahashi as mm-hmm. managing director of their Japanese operations. They're Asia's leading data center provider. <clears throat> so that is a big hire. Congratulations to Yoshinaga Takahashi. I believe I have even pronounced that correctly. Uh, I was going to say great pronunciation and absolutely a huge, uh, huge move there um, for Japan um, and PDG. Uh, great news. Um, okay, so you're up next, Mr. Dino, for our trivia. Here's a test of your memory from, oh, 90s TV. I love the 90s. I know. Like, you can't give me these types of – I'm giving you good <laughs> ones. Just FYI. All right. So what were the names of the two special agent characters in The X-Files? <sighs> Nuts. I Honestly, I never watched this. It's, you know, too scary or something. I, yeah, I, I, I have no clue. Fred and Wilma. 
Fred and Wilma. Excellent guess. <laughs> uh, but I mean, I got to say, it was very scary for me too. I think I la- like watched half of one and then was like, no. Um, but the correct answer is Dana Scully and Fox Mulder. Oh, right. Fox Mulder. Yeah. And I, I think I mean, the ladies really liked that guy too at one point way back oh, in the yeah. 90s, right? Oh yeah. He was like heartthrob city, but also super cool names, right? Very cool names. Definitely. So here we go, guys, from X-Files to AwareX now. AwareX, the leading digital customer experience provider for the telecom industry. AwareX recently awarded Elite Certification from the TM Forum. So congratulations to AwareX. Yes, congratulations to our friends at AwareX. And we're going to go ahead and double dip on the letter X to talk about the news from Edge Connects, right? Ah, we've talked, I, yeah, you know, we know and love them. They recently joined the European Data Center Association, a not-for-profit industry association established to support the interest of the European data center community, of which they are a relatively really big one these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so, so great. So great. We can actually triple dip on the X with Extinet. Ah, (laughs) E-X-T-Net. They published a great interview this month with VP Jay Floyd and Senior VP Roy Hilliard. We love those guys. They talk about a big project, actually several, with organizations like MGM Resorts. We all go to, you know, we all know MGM from uh, their Vegas takeover. Um, and the Dallas Cowboys. So, yeah, we're talking some very big clients. Yeah. Congratulations, no Extinet. Those, um, those are very, very big clients. Congratulations to the folks at Extinet. Um, okay, Jamie, <laughs> you're going to love this. This is a car question, which is usually my specialty, uh, but you get the car question. Um, but I do think that you have a good chance of getting it because you actually talk about this person from time to time. Oh, interesting. All right. Well, I'm kind of nervous, uh, but hey, can't be as hard as the crankshaft question from last time. So let's go for it. (laughs) That was a good one. Okay. You got to be confident. You got this, Jay. I promise. All right. Zen space. Go for it. All right. Introduced in 1908 by Henry Ford, this is the first highly successful mass produced automobile. Hey, you're right. I love quoting Henry Ford. All right. um, This is... Uh, what is the Model T? The Model T is absolutely correct, Jamie. Congratulations. <laughs> Woo! Thanks for be- believing in me, Mr. Dino. Oh, you had it the, <laughs> they had it the whole time, Jay. Uh, but maybe this, maybe this is the start of your new hot rod phase. Hot rod, unless you mean like those little Hot Wheel cars, the toy cars and the track that Ava like, likes to see. I don't know. Doubt it. But okay. anyway, why are we talking cars again? Tell yeah, me. We're talking the Model T4 because that brings us to T5 data centers, specifically their CMO, Craig McKesson. He gave a great interview on JSA TV, and you can read the transcript on the TNN blog. It's an interesting discussion about facilities management with the goal of a smaller carbon footprint. Another, you know, jumping right on the, uh, the, the, the back data. of the greener data and... We'll talk about greed and data later, I think. Um, but anyway, uh, smaller carbon footprints. So uh, definitely check that out. The transcript of that um, JSA TV on our TNN blog. Awesome, awesome stuff. Okay, Dino, you ready for your next question? I am, It's a yes. geography one. <laughs> Damn you, Jamie. Like, <laughs> well, we as Americans traditionally just stink at this one. So anyway, do our country proud. Ready? Here we go. Yes. Uh, which North African city has a name which means... White House in Spanish. <sighs> this is ridiculous. Um, I, I don't know. Cairo? Ky- Cairo? Okay. Uh, no, Maybe. I thought you might be able to break it down with your high school Spanish. Uh, house, Casa, White Blanca, Casa Blanca. See, I love that movie. I know. You know what? We know the name so much, we never break it down. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay. Um, yeah, and that would have been a perfect time for that Humphrey Bogart impersonation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I did I did Jimmy Stewart on the last one. I could have done Humphrey Bogart <laughs> this time, but alas, not. Alas. All right. Well, I better get going before you try that. So we're going from White House to Powerhouse with Powerhouse Data Center's VP, Luke Kipfer. Yeah, you know you liked that one. Making waves this month. He appeared on a recent episode of the Inside Data Center podcast which has been getting some attention. In the episode, he comments on both sustainability and speed to market. 
No word on his knowledge of North African geography, though, but we will check in. And <laughs> yeah, I wonder if that's <laughs> more difficult questions uh, on his podcast than I'm facing right now. So <laughs> we'll have to get that from Luke. <laughs> yes. All right. I'm going to guess that he never also got asked about Fender guitars. Yeah, you know, I'll bet, I'll bet you're right on his podcast. Probably not. Not, but um, okay. Here's the uh, next question, and this one is for you, Jay. Flamenco is a traditional dance style associated with which country? Ooh, I yeah, love that the one where like dun, 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 yes, dun, dun. Right. Dun, dun, dun. and I should say my yeah. sister, uh, my older sister, five years older. I always like to get that in. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she's watching. I'm sure she loves this. It's the only my family watches. Like, that's our audience. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, she she actually is a beautiful ballroom dancer. So um, I feel like I've got this one. Uh, flamenco, beautiful to watch. The shoes, the flowers, the castanets, everything. Yeah. So I am going to go with Spain to see some expert flamenco dancers. Yeah. <laughs> That's correct. Spain is right. And that's where Myriad 360, a global solutions provider, recently accepted their latest award at the 2023 Executive Partner Summit hosted by Juniper Networks. That's correct. Myriad 360 received the title of Worldwide Cloud Ready Data Center Partner of the Year in Madrid. So congratulations to our friends at Myriad 360. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Well deserved, guys. All right. Just in case you weren't tallying like I have been, Dina, there are four <laughs> questions left. Right now, I'm at the lead with three, and you've got two. Just saying. Okay. Well, don't call it a comeback, but here we go. Give me the next <laughs> one. All right. Hey, that's the spirit. And guess what, guys? The next one is about ice cream, Dino. So hopefully that'll, you know, spur you on. Yes. Here's the question. Ready? Yes. What are the three flavors of Neapolitan ice cream? Okay, Jamie, you probably already know this about me, but I am a uh, an ice cream expert. So this one is a slam dunk, but uh, for me. So first I usually eat the chocolate, then the strawberry, then the vanilla. But the key, honestly, is to mix it all together and eat it all at once. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to say just as long as you're not one of those weirdos that eat all three kinds on the same spoon all mixed together. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, yeah, that is. That. I am one of those weirdos. Okay. Well, anyway, chocolate is my favorite. So usually I do save that one for last. So you know, I can get I'm behind a bit that. biased. I, I honestly, I can, I can get behind any, any eating of any ice cream. Well, guys, it is an ice cream question because of Isotope Technologies this month naming a new chief commercial officer. Nathan Blom is coming over from Lenovo. So huge hire, best of luck in your new gig at Isotope, Nathan. Yep, congratulations to Nathan. Speaking of new gigs, Involta also announced a new appointment this month. They named Clark Duvall as the new sales account executive for their healthcare focused division. So congrats to Clark. Yay, Clark. And I have to say, I am a, so glad we got off the topic of ice cream because my mouth is just starting to water. I've got like this tub of my chocolate chip in my freezer calling my name. So yeah, moving on, moving on. We're not, no, we're not I'm responding. Not move on because you just said mint chocolate chip and that is absolutely my favorite ice cream. Mint chocolate chip has been my favorite since I was like five. I know, yeah. I know. So let's, so let's eat ice cream next time I see you, okay? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> We've got this. We're we're going through. We're not we're not succumbing to the the calling of the ice cream. So here we go. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, it's my, it's my, it's my turn, isn't it? <laughs> all right, we're, we're sticking with the ice cream uh, theme for the next question. Oh, Jamie, oh, no way. The, oh, yeah, dear. it's the ice theme, not the ice cream theme. Okay, we're gonna, okay. We are going to stick with the ice theme for the next question. 90% of the world's glacier ice is located on what continent? Do, 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 do. All right. Well, you know what? You've got Europe, Australia, mm -hmm. South America. So can't be any of those. Oh. Of course, Antarctica. That's going to be the answer. Antarctica. Right. You are our friends at Kohler. We're in the news just this month for, get this, sponsoring an expedition to the South Pole. So That's cool. right. An expedition to the South Pole. The trek was done by famous explorer Robert Swan, and Kohler supplied him with custom diesel generators fueled by 
HVO, which is uh -huh. a new clean type of fuel data centers are using to use for their backup power. Exciting stuff. Mine, I said, that's some of the most innovative marketing I have seen in the data, uh, the data center space in a long time. This is a very, very cool thing. So cool, uh, literally cool, but also, um, you know, the guy's name is Robert Swan. So, I mean, you've got yeah. just so many layers of coolness to this uh, exactly. to this whole expedition uh, campaign, which I love. And, and a trip to the South Pole. I'm going to stick with my Neapolitan ice cream, though, um, and not join that expedition. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll stay with you, okay? Imagine that's like a their their uh, uh, company huddle. Like they go and they do a, a team building <laughs> expedition to the South Pole. I'm not and we do a that. team building expedition to the freezer <laughs> to get some. Ice <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So <laughs> on that note, are you ready for your last question, Tito? <laughs> I, I am ready for my last question, Jay. All right. Last one. What is the national flower of the United States? Oh man. I honestly do not know. I'm going to guess tulip, the tulip. I think tulip is Denmark, which would be a nice little circle. But anyway, um, <laughs> going back to our first uh, question. Okay, so t it is not. <laughs> Sorry, eh, wrong. It's the rose, which I hope are going to go into bloom soon. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, ready for spring. Speaking of bloom, let's talk bloom energy. See what I did there? I did, I did. I love Bloom Energy. <laughs> well, Jeff Barber, Vice President of Global Data Centers at Bloom Energy, has a great interview this month, total total must check out, located yep, on TNN blog, talking about the way data centers deploy energy. So check it out. Okay, yeah, yeah. So that's it for the quiz game. I got to believe that I lost again this week. Um, <laughs> but uh, we do have one more piece of news to share. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is it a big announcement and it involves our very own Dino? That is correct, Amundo. Once again, Jamie, it's going to be a blast. <laughs> I am actually going to be on site in Dubai for JSA and Capacity Media, and we're excited to announce that we are once again joining forces, this time to deliver Cap Capacity Media East Extra, powered by JSA. So I will be on site with, uh, with two uh, colleagues, uh, Alexandria and Allison, our events director, uh, and we are ready to meet with, uh, with folks there in Dubai. Yes, yes, yes. And we should say this is an exclusive live streaming channel broadcasting from the floor of Capacity Middle East, the largest carrier meeting for the Middle Eastern region. Dean, there in person, along with, of course, Alexandria and Allison, our fabulous JSAers. Very cool. Awesome. Yep, Can't wait cool. to see it. That all goes down March 7th through the 9th. I'm actually going to be leaving on the 4th so that I can fast forward 26 hours or whatever it is and, and be ready. So it uh, again, it goes down uh, the 7th through the 9th in Dubai. And you can follow along with the live interviews with all kinds of industry personalities on LinkedIn, YouTube, and Twitter. Cannot wait. All right, Jay, let me have it. Who, who won the trivia this month? Oh, you know what, Dino? I hate to say it, but I think I came out just a little bit ahead, four to three. Sorry, but yeah. better luck next time. You know, our We're going into are our not silly. They um, they make sure that you win these. <laughs> no, <Yeah. I'm> <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> and I'm glad that they do. Uh, anyway, I'm going to be furiously reading the encyclopedia all the way to Dubai <laughs> and back so that I can take you out next month. There you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, Jay. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thank you, guys. Until next time, happy networking.